In this video, we want to look at how to use the rapid implementation spreadsheet for General Ledger to set up the core modules within financials. I will take you through the details of the spreadsheet and I'll also take you through how to populate this spreadsheet and we will go through how to actually build the setup using the core accounts in the spreadsheets for the core options within payables, procurement, receivables, and some of the setups required within fixed assets and cash management. So let's dive in. Let's go in and see how to actually do this. So I've logged in as set up man, who is the person who is going to be doing the setup and I will go straight to my setup and maintenance. So from the menu, select the person's name and you will see the drop down and you select the setup and maintenance link. So this is the main page for the setup and maintenance. We're gonna search for the task. So in the task panel, select search. And I'm going to search for rapid implementation spreadsheets. So I'm going to search for create chat of accounts, ledger, legal entities, and the business units in spreadsheets. So just typing in my search criteria, create chat of accounts. So in the search, Click on the link, create chart of accounts, ledger, legal entities, and business units in spreadsheet. And this will download the rapid implementation spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna open the spreadsheet. You will need Microsoft Excel to work in the spreadsheet. So I have the spreadsheet displayed. I'm just gonna go through it very quickly. There are lots of information in the spreadsheet to tell you about what this spreadsheet will allow you to do and how to actually load the spreadsheet. So the first tab shows you details of um, the areas that you can you can set up. So it's, um, it's a Microsoft Excel template and it has lots of information on how to actually do this. And it also has a sample sample data that you can use. We'll be using this sample data for our core data. So let me just very quickly just take you through some of the things that happens within this spreadsheet. So if you go to the first tab, you have your chat of accounts, your calendar, and your ledger structure. So you can enter the name, currency, the period frequency, um, select your calendar, select your chat of accounts, segments and then you have the setup of your business units setup of your companies your natural accounts and your financial sequences and any other tabs that you have will be for the additional segments so i'm going to open up sample data and i'm going to enable macros and what you have here is a list of pre created data for you that you can use. So you've got the name of the company or name of the ledger. You have your chat of account structure as well. So here we've got a number of segments, one, two, three, four, five, six segments. So you've got your primary balances segment. You have your secondary balances segment, natural accounts, which is the nominal nominal accounts, your cost center, uh, a spare segment called product, and also an intercompany segment for your intercompany transactions. So you have your value sets. Your value sets, um, for example, all of these are different value sets. And very quickly, I'm just gonna go through some of them. So I'm gonna come back to the business units and the companies uh, actually, let me do the companies and legal entities now. So if I select the 
company segment, I can see that the company is already set up in here. Well, so the structure is already set up in here. You have the parent, which is a total infusion companies. And then under infusion, you have infusion USA, infusion Canada. And under infusion USA, you have the corporate office and then you have infusion Napa. Under Napa, you have farms and you have your uh, food and, um, and manufacturing. And you have on the right hand side, the details of the address of the legal entity and the registration uh, registration number. And each of the values that you have in the child segment, these are the these are the, um, the the values that you would normally use when you're transacting all the other ones. The parent values are used mainly for reporting purposes and for uh, building the hierarchies and all that's explained in another video. So you have your account hierarchies as specified in the spreadsheet. This is you can also create additional hierarchies if you wanted to, and you can maintain it all in in here, in this in this spreadsheet. You have a natural account. Natural account. Uh, this is very important in that within the natural account for each child, each child segment, you can assign what is called an extended account type. So if I just go to the right, so for each child segment, so for this segment, I can assign what is called an extended account type. The account types that you have, which is generic, are the asset, liability, um, income expenditure or revenue expense, and then you have your owner's equity. So these additional account types are used to create the additional values that are required within the setup of the subledgers, as well as uh, some of the other areas within the, uh, some of the default accounts within the uh, GL as well. So all your account values must be assigned an account type. So all of this must have an account type and the um, account is used by the rapid implementation uh, solution to automate the creation of any required setup objects in the various modules within the financials. So for example, in, in the ledgers, you've got your general ledger um, options. So all the general ledger options will be selected from these account types. So you have things like your Miscellaneous expenses used, used within expenses, realized gains and losses, rounded differences. All of this will be used within GL when you are setting up general ledger as an example. And you have things like your, um, let's go back up. There's quite a few of these. Operating, yeah, so, so things like this are used within, this, uh, this is mainly used for reporting. And owner's equity was the one I was going to look for. So retained earnings, so this is how it would, determine the value that will be set for return earnings in your uh, general ledger options. So you've got options for payables, you've got receipt, things like receipt methods for receivables. Um, and then you have, you have all of these within your expanded account types. So you have the expanded account types. So you have exp expanded account types things like your owner's equity, return earnings, for liability, you have accounts payable, and assets, you have accounts receivable. So these are things like your expanded account types. And then you've also got your financial category. Um, now you can use financial category mainly for reporting. So you've got additional information on cash um, within your financial category. So again, useful if you're using or TBI for reporting and you can group based on this and also for your month end reconciliations, APAR reconciliations and so on, uh, you would need to use some of these additional types, which is your financial categories. And also you've got things like your revenue, top revenue parents account. So if I actually, let me just 
to make it easy to explain what I'm saying, I'm just going to go to my data filter and I want to select actually let me just do let me just do it based on this three four rows filter filter if I go to my account type take away blanks let's just use the great revenue um, on his equity let's take away liability so this are the this are the core accounts that we are using within this spreadsheet to automatically derive certain values when we do our setups let's remove that okay so we've got about 33 accounts to decide and set up and again you have to also look at the structure so you can say revenues start with 4000 and your expenses start from 5 uh, so 40000 uh your expenses start from the range of 50000 and so on so you determine your structure as well so you got 33 main ones that we have in this spreadsheet you can have uh, quite a few of those so that's the first step uh, so you got your you got your account structure you have your line line of business this is the secondary segment so the so secondary yeah secondary balance segment so the first one is my company my primary balance segment is my company secondary balance segment is my line of business and then I've got my cost center so these are my cost center values uh, my product and then any financial sequence that I need so for demonstration purposes I'm just going to show you what I've already created and one thing to note is that if you're using the same data in this spreadsheet you've got to remember that your values for your account identifier have to change and I'll show you what I've done so let me just come out of this and open up my spreadsheet so let me let's go to so for my demo purposes I have a company called Acme Acme and this is my Acme ledger uh, currency I will leave it to be derived based on the country of the legal entity period is monthly adjusting period once at the end of the year so all of the calendars will be created for that and then my physical year end uh, my start date is the 1st of January 2018 I have a number of segments so I have six segments and each segment I have some default values which has been generated uh, which I've so, sorry which I've got here for my shot prompt and my display width I've also specified my business unit so what I've done I've just basically done a search and replace but when using search and replace remember that your companies and legal entities tab will always be uh, protected so in order for you to change anything in this spreadsheet you need to unprotect the spreadsheet and then you can make changes to it so I've used exactly the same data that we have in the in the sample based on the values but I've only changed the description and also my identifiers and also the address names so that's what I've done so same natural account with my financial categories and I've got my financial sequences as well leaving that as is and then what you do is you click on generate uh, add, add additional segments and that would generate the values for this additional segments for you so so that's basically having a quick look at the spreadsheet in the next video we're going to look at how to validate how to generate our chat of accounts file and how to generate the legal entities and the BU file 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.